All right. Oh, yeah. Next up, we got be open, but don't be naive. My naivety led me to life, led me to significant life changes, including dating a woman with many red flags, changing my religion, and becoming a father without fully understanding the implications. This was due to thinking others knew what was best for me instead of knowing myself. Believing in others' words while observing their toxic actions, yet continually trusting them, granted them undue power over my life. This taught me the importance of balancing openness and discernment and awareness of the people I engage with. Now, a lot of my naivety came from the fact that I was listening to, you know, a lot of Michael A. Singer. I was I was reading his books at the time, and it's all about, you know, letting go of your thoughts and emotions. And while that's a powerful healing thing to do is, is realize that your thoughts and your emotions are not yours. They're coming from divine source into your body. You're just a vessel that they're channeled through. But it's it doesn't mean don't set boundaries with people. It doesn't mean let you know let go completely and let life just take you by the, the short hairs wherever people lead you, you know, because people they don't have good intentions all the time. Like with Ashley, you can clearly tell through this story. She didn't have good intentions the entire time we were together. I mean maybe at the beginning, but it seemed like you know, pretty deceptive. So it takes going through that and maybe through the process of letting go as Michael A. Singer talks about in the surrender experiment and the untethered soul and living untethered and stuff like that, those books. Essentially, that's what it took was to continue to let go and let go and let go and let go until I realized, hey, there's this pattern. And then now I can add that to my tool belt. That's the way I'm looking at it. But I'm just saying, like, if you're into that sort of mindset where it's like, okay, I want to see positivity in everyone and see the good in everyone and just go with the flow in life, you can do that. You can. But to be honest with you, like, you're going to end up in some places you really don't want to be in some dirty, 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 terrible places with some horrible situations going on around you where people are freaking using you. And I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to be a freaking pessimistic person it's just the reality of the situation i am incredibly optimistic i see the best in everyone i hope for the best in everyone but after this situation i realize that there is a lot of evil and that's not to focus on the evil or be afraid of the evil it's to open our hearts to the evil and say you know what i overpower you with my love but just because i overpower you with my love doesn't mean i need to give in to your deceptive plans i let them go I set boundaries, I'm clear, I'm confident, I'm okay with myself, and I don't need your approval. So you can stay over there, and you can keep trying to scam people with your crazy deceptive plans, and I'm going to continue to stay over here and live my life in love and bring people into the positivity and the love and light. So that's all I'm saying. And, you know, it's easier said than done because it's easy to trust people, especially when you have a broken heart, you have a good heart, you have a soft heart, you want... You want so badly for people, you know, to treat you well and and to have good intentions in mind for you. But in reality, like a lot of people don't. And, you know, that's that's basically the direct correlation from my story to what I wrote here is like. Don't be naive, just don't like. Be okay with yourself, know thyself before. You go get yourself into a situation like this. You are the answer to all your problems. I will continue to preach this. It's the same thing as the scarcity thing. You're the answer. You are the answer. You don't need anything outside of yourself. That's just an added bonus of experience and a beautiful, wonderful memory that you can remember later on in your life. But you don't need it, all right? Trust in yourself. Love yourself. Live from your heart. God bless you. This community is conscious creators. We're coming together. We're creating a family, a sense of, you know, kinship online through this community learning how to grow our own profiles on social media and make money doing it. Your vulnerability in this entire community is completely and totally necessary for its success. So I would encourage you, please, to go into the community section and share about a time where you felt like you were too naive and what you learned from being naive and what you learned about people but also about yourself through the experience. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.